In the realm of televised tales, there exists a gem that flickers with the nostalgia of yesteryears, a prism through which we glimpse the quirky corridors of academia and the equally quirky minds that navigate them. Picture yourself in a time when mullets reigned supreme and neon hues danced across screens, a time when a TV series known as Head of the Class held its throne. Ah, the very mention of it awakens a collage of memories, doesn't it? Cast your mind back to that first encounter with the show, as the screen unveiled a motley crew of brainy misfits. Each character was a universe of quirks and curiosities, a unique constellation within the constellation of a classroom. And who could forget the charismatic Mr. Moore, that enigmatic educator who navigated the tides of teenage wit with unmatched charm? As scenes unfolded, each episode revealed a tapestry of humorous mishaps, heartfelt lessons, and a pinch of poignant coming-of-age revelations. The camaraderie amongst the students was akin to a symphony of personalities, harmonizing and clashing in delightful disarray. Moments etched in memory, like graffiti on the walls of the mind, the smart alecky banter, the earnest pursuits, and the glimpses of wisdom hidden beneath the chuckles. But let us not linger in the past for too long, for the present is here, and with it, a trove of tantalizing trivia awaits. Did you know that the show's creators drew inspiration from their own experiences, as gifted students? Or that the series was applauded for its diverse cast, a beacon of representation in its time? These facts are mere appetizers to the sumptuous feast that is head of the class. So, dear reader, let your memories intertwine with these newfound insights. Reflect on your own journey through that classroom of yore, and the echoes of laughter and lessons that still resonate. And as we journey further into the annals of this TV treasure, remember, the classroom doors are open, and the stories are ready to be retold, one fascinating detail at a time. Tale at a time. Tanis Vallely, a familiar face from the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, brought her real-life classroom experience to the screen. While portraying the witty and wise-cracking student Janice Lazarado, Vallely was attending Millican Middle School in Sherman Oaks, California. A perfect blend of fiction and reality emerged as she tackled her on-screen studies while juggling her actual educational pursuits. Valerie's ability to effortlessly bridge the gap between her character's scholastic endeavors and her own middle school journey added a unique layer of authenticity to the show. Valerie's time at Millican Middle School mirrored the classroom camaraderie that the show depicted, and her genuine interactions with peers resonated with viewers. Her portrayal of Janice became a relatable figure for young audiences navigating their own academic landscapes. Head of the class provided not only entertainment, but also an unexpected glimpse into the life of a young actor managing the demands of both on-screen and off-screen learning. In a time when sitcoms rarely delved into the behind-the-scenes lives of their cast members, Tanny's Vallely's dual role as Janice and a middle school student offered a refreshing and insightful perspective. Her presence added an extra layer of authenticity to the show's exploration of the trials and triumphs of high-achieving students. As the show's credits rolled, Valerie's portrayal of Janice Lazarado remained an enduring testament to the intersections of fiction and reality. Key Hai Kwan's impact on head of the class diversity in a bid to authentically reflect the diverse tapestry of gifted education. Producers of the hit 1986 TV series Head of the Class made a pivotal casting decision during its fourth season. Realizing the absence of Asian American representation among the prodigious students, they brought in Key Hai Kwan, marking a departure from the show's prior trajectory. Jivaharlal, the lone Asian character introduced in the series, had been mysteriously written out during the inaugural episode of season four. This move caught the attention of both critics and viewers, leading to discussions about the authenticity of the gifted class composition. As the show strived to mirror the real world, producers recognized the need for a more accurate representation, prompting the introduction of Ki Hai Kwan's character. Ki Hai Kwan, known for her role in the Indiana Jones franchise, seamlessly integrated into the ensemble cast, infusing a fresh dynamic into the classroom camaraderie. Her presence not only added a vital layer of cultural richness, but also underscored the importance of inclusive storytelling. This change paralleled the zeitgeist of the era, which increasingly championed diversity and sought to challenge conventional norms. By acknowledging the gap in their initial depiction and addressing it head-on, the producers of Head of the Class sent a progressive message about the significance of representation in media. 
He Hai Kwan's addition marked a turning point, reminding audiences that even the most gifted of students can learn essential lessons about diversity, acceptance, and understanding. In the ever-evolving landscape of television, Head of the Class stood as a beacon of how fictional worlds can reflect the nuanced realities of society. The legacy of this casting choice endures as a testament to the show's commitment to not just educating young minds, but also to accurately mirroring the world they live in. They live in. They live in. Howard Hesseman's departure from Head of the Class unveiled. Behind the mystery exit the hit 1986 TV series Head of the Class stood as a beacon of teenage wit and humor resonating with audiences across the nation. However, a cloud of uncertainty enshrouded the abrupt departure of Howard Hesseman, who portrayed the charismatic teacher Charlie Moore. At the time, whispers of a revival of Hesseman's famed role in WKRP in Cincinnati echoed through the industry's grapevine, prompting speculation about his exit. Contrary to speculations, Hesseman did not reprise his role in the new WKRP in Cincinnati, which made its debut in the fall following the cancellation of Head of the Class. A puzzling choice indeed, especially since Hesseman had voiced his dissatisfaction regarding the show's direction and the stagnant growth of his character in various interviews during its run. The abruptness of his exit left fans and critics puzzled and craving answers. Some insiders suggested creative differences between Hesseman and the show's producers as a plausible explanation, but the true reasons behind his swift departure remain veiled in ambiguity. While the charismatic teacher's exit left a void, it also paved the way for the introduction of Billy Connell as character, Billy MacGregor, to the series. In hindsight, it's clear that the ensemble cast underwent a notable transformation during its run. Notable among these changes was the intriguing age dynamic among the student characters. By the final season, Dan Frischman, Tony O'Dell, and Michael DeLorenzo had all crossed the threshold into their 30 seconds, a fact that added a fascinating layer of curiosity to their portrayals of high school students. This paradoxical twist lent a sense of maturity and experience to their roles, further enhancing the show's charm. Ultimately, the legacy of Head of the Class is one marked by its stellar ensemble cast and the enigma surrounding Howard Hesseman's departure. As time passes, the mysteries that once swirled around the show continue to intrigue fans, underscoring its enduring appeal. In the ever-evolving landscape of television, where dramas and comedies often fade into obscurity, Head of the Class remains a compelling enigma, a testament to the complexity of creative decisions behind the scenes that shape the narratives we love. 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 In a strategic move to secure the coveted syndication success, the 1986 TV series Head of the Class underwent a pivotal cast change. As Howard Hesseman bid adieu after a solid four seasons, the producers turned to a fresh face to anchor the fifth season, Billy Connolly, the Scottish comic sensation. The decision wasn't taken lightly. With syndication profits on the horizon, the series needed a full roster of episodes. Enter Billy Connolly, who injected his unique charisma into the classroom dynamic. Surprisingly, the contemplation of Connolly's casting wasn't the only twist in the show's history. In the year 1990, the hunt was on for a replacement for Howard Hesseman's lead role. Howie Mandel's name swirled in the mix, adding an intriguing layer to the casting saga. Ultimately, the baton passed across the Atlantic, and Billy Connolly stepped into the shoes of the headstrong teacher. But it wasn't just the cast that drew inspiration from real life. The intellectual heterogeneity program depicted in the show was more than just a TV trope. It found its roots in a program at Walter Reed Middle School in Los Angeles, California. Notably, Christine Hage, one of the show's stars, was a genuine graduate of the Reed IHP program, blurring the lines between fiction and reality. As head of the class navigated its academic and comedic journey, these behind-the-scenes maneuvers and inspirations shaped the series into the memorable piece of television history that it remains today. today. In a remarkable turn of events for the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, a group of academically gifted students ventured beyond the halls of Millard Fillmore High School to conquer the heights of academia. Following their graduation, the IHP class dispersed to esteemed institutions across the nation, shaping their futures in remarkable ways. 
Met Harvard, Caltech, Columbia, Princeton, Sarah Lawrence, Stanford, the University of Iowa, and Vassar all welcomed these prodigious minds into their esteemed ranks. However, the ultimate destinations of Aristotle and TJ remain shrouded in mystery, as the show tantalizingly leaves their fate with Jolliard unspoken. While the show's vibrant cast navigated the rigorous halls of education, a pivotal moment occurred at the close of season four. Howard Hesseman, who had brought the character of Mr. Moore to life with his unique charisma, bid adieu to the series, leaving behind a void that seemed challenging to fill. The fifth and final season ushered in a new era with the introduction of Sir Billy Connolly as the lead, injecting fresh energy into the show's dynamic. The transition marked a turning point in the narrative, offering viewers a chance to experience the IHP class adventures under a different guiding hand. Surprising as it may be, before Matthew Perry became a household name for his iconic portrayal of Chandler Bing on Friends, he vied for a spot within the hallowed halls of Millard Fillmore High School. The young actor auditioned for the role of Alan Pinkert, a testament to the series' role as a breeding ground for emerging talent. As head of the class concluded its run, it left an indelible mark on television history. The series, a captivating blend of intellect, humor, and camaraderie, showcased the trials and triumphs of gifted students reaching for the stars. Beyond the comedic veneer, it provided a glimpse into the aspirations and complexities that accompany youthful brilliance. A legacy of the show lives on, a testament to the enduring appeal of intellectual exploration and the pursuit of excellence. Excellence. Excel As we draw the curtains on our journey through the captivating corridors of the 1986 TV series, Head of the Class, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and imagination. Just as our beloved characters pursued knowledge within the hallowed halls of Millard Fillmore High School, so too have we ventured into a realm where laughter, growth, and camaraderie transcended the screen. As the final notes of the iconic theme song fade into the echoes of memory, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique resonance this show has had in your own story. Perhaps it was the witty banter that left you in stitches, the genuine friendships that warmed your heart, or the brilliant minds that inspired your own aspirations. The legacy of Head of the Class is not merely confined to the realm of television, it's woven into the tapestry of our own lives. In this age of rapid transformation and fleeting trends, it's remarkable how some things manage to etch a permanent mark on our hearts. Now, more than ever, we yearn for connections that remind us of simpler times, of laughter shared with friends, and of the sheer joy of learning. The show may have concluded, but its spirit lives on in the moments we cherish and the conversations we share. So, whether you're reminiscing with a friend over a cup of coffee or penning down your thoughts under the stars, take a moment to let the spirit of head of the class wash over you. Let it spark conversations, kindle creativity, and inspire you to embrace the journey of lifelong learning with the same enthusiasm as our endearing group of young scholars. Your thoughts, memories, and reflections are a vital thread in the rich tapestry of the show's enduring legacy. I encourage you to share your favorite moments, the characters who left an indelible mark on your heart, and the life lessons that you've carried forward from this beloved series. Your voice adds depth to the chorus of sentiment that has echoed through the years. Thank you for embarking on this voyage of nostalgia and contemplation. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, as is your willingness to explore the profound impact that Head of the Class has had on our lives. Here's to the lessons learned, the laughter shared, and the bonds formed, all encapsulated within the unforgettable world of this cherished show. With warm regards and a heart full of memories, your name, your name, your name.